Today I'm reviewing the Ninja Foodi Digital Air Fry Oven. It's a compact oven that allows you to air fry crisp and more. It also has this interesting flip up feature so you can store it out of the way. Now I want to compare this to the Power Air Fry Oven 360, which is one that I reviewed about a year ago. I really liked, I've been recommending since then. But let me see how well the Ninja can compare to the Power Air Fryer Oven 360 in today's video. Oops. Ugh. Warning, do not touch hot surfaces. Who knew? All right, well, I'm gonna crack this open tonight, read it over, wash all these off, and then we're gonna start cooking. That's next. Now I'm going to focus on the Ninja Foodi oven, but I also wanna bring in the Power Air Fry Oven 360 because this is still a popular choice, still heavily advertised, to see what kind of differences there are between the two of them. First up, as far as the contents goes, the Power Air Fry Oven contents were a mesh basket, pan, crumb tray, and wire rack. Ninja Foodi oven, the exact same contents. A mesh basket, a pan, crumb tray, and wire rack. The first thing I notice is look at the size difference. The mesh basket from the Power Air Fryer Oven can actually fit inside the Ninja with room to spare. Even though the Power Air Fryer Oven 360 is taller and you can do larger things like a rotisserie chicken in there, the Ninja oven is deeper. It's about 14 and a half deep versus 11 and a half deep. Several inches deeper so you can get a wider pan in there. Let's see how wide they both are. Just the cooking area, it's about 13 inches for the Ninja and about 13 inches for the Power Air Fryer Oven. So they're about the same width, but because a Ninja has more depth, it can have a larger square. If you're gonna be using it for things like Cornish game hens or chicken, it's not gonna fit in here. But if you want more width and depth, the Ninja looks like it's already out on top. I haven't even turned it on yet. I'm already comparing them. So the first thing I'm gonna do is wash all this stuff off and do the first test, which they say you can fit nine pieces of toast in here. Let's see how many pieces we can fit in the Power Air Fryer Oven 360 as well. Clean it off, and that's next. All right, let's turn it on for the first time. A nice looking display. Air fry, air roast, air broil, bake, dehydrate, keep warm, toast, or bagel. The cost of these items will vary by location. I've seen them I think the list price is $229 for the Ninja and $239 for the Power Air Fryer Oven, but I've seen them down in the upper 100, so you gotta shop around. If you get it from Bed Bath & Beyond, don't forget to use your 20% coupon there. But overall, they're about the same price. Down here we've got the time and slice, temperature darkness, and the light. Let's see how the light looks in there. Oh, it's a nice, not only is it a nice bright light, but it kind of fades in slowly, which is kind of aesthetically pleasing. Oh yeah, I like the light. More than I should probably. Now this defaults to four slices of toast, but I think we can crank this up. Oh, we're gonna do nine slices. Let's see what kind of dark settings we got. Whoa, whoa, I guess we'll go with three. Now not to be outdone, the Power Air Fryer Oven does have a toast feature on it. And they go up to six slices and we'll put the darkness at three also. So six slices, 445. Nine slices, that doesn't say the time. I guess we'll find that out in a second. All right, I've got the bread loaded up. It does hold six for the Power Air Fryer Oven 360. And it does hold nine for the Ninja Foodi Oven. Let's uh, put these in there and see how they do. That's a very tight squeeze, but it fits. Starting the Ninja, 455. Starting the Power of Air Fryer Oven 360, 445. It's gonna be close, let's see how they both do. Which one do you guys think is gonna do better? We're a little under two minutes left on, uh, on each one of them. And we've got some steam coming out of the Ninja, which is totally normal. A little bit of steam building up inside the Power Air Fryer Oven 360, it's doing its thing. 
All right, this is about done. Get my hot hands out. That's not very dark. Wow. Look at the difference. The Power Air Fryer Oven on three, the Ninja on three. Look at this beautiful toast on the Ninja and this somewhat not so impressive toast. Wow. Let me flip these over now. Th those are the bottoms. Still, I think it's better. I still think the Ninja did better. Very early in the competition, the first test though, I gotta give it to the Ninja. It did more slices. They were more toasted in the same amount of time. Ninja wins round one. Uh, now the big question is what am I gonna do with 15 pieces of toast and I'm the only one here? Hmm. Well anyways, that's, that's not your problem, that's mine. I'm gonna let these cool off and move on to the next test. All right, so the toast was just a warm up act, so to speak. Now I'm gonna go through this wonderful recipe guide here and pull out something that looks good to me. Like how about air fried French toast sticks? Of course, that requires me getting more bread. More bread, I guess. Good thing I have plenty. This requires the air fry setting, which both have. Uh, I have all the ingredients, so let's get started. Some of the specs on this, this is 1800 watts. This is 1500 watts. This one has eight presets. This one has 12 presets. Now, there are different versions. There's another version of this that I think only has six presets. This is the one I bought in Bed Bath & Beyond. The size of the pans, let's see measuring from the inside, a little over 12 by 12. Power air fryer oven from the inside, 10 and a half, maybe eight and three quarters. Both of the ovens seem to go up to about 450 degrees. Obviously the power air fryer oven has larger capacity when it comes to height, but when it comes to depth, the Ninja is a little bit deeper, so it can fit a little bit lar larger pan in there. You're gonna do in some rotisseries, this is your choice. For pizzas, you might wanna go with this one. One cool thing about the Ninja is that it has this cool flip up feature so you can actually flip it up and have a little bit more counter space as long as you have enough height because it does get taller. Could be a bit gimmicky, but uh, we'll see if I actually use that feature or not. Let's give these air fried French toast sticks a shot, shall we? Four eggs, half a cup of milk, vanilla extract, ground cinnamon, one third cup sugar, it says liberally spray with cooking spray. I'll do that over the sink. Six pieces of bread cut in the thirds. I'm gonna use my scissor for this. Got my bread cut in thirds, my egg mix in both trays. Get ready to rock and roll here. The instructions say to prepare them first before preheating them because it preheats so quickly. So hopefully that turns out being the case. Let's do it. All right, air fry setting, 10 minutes, 400. 10 minutes, 400. Well, that was quick. That was quick. All right, that one's in. I'm guessing with the larger capacity, it's gonna take a little bit longer to preheat. So while this one's counting down, this one's still preheating. They weren't kidding it. This one preheated quickly. Look at this. I'm already over a minute of cooking and this one's still going. I know it's one of my taglines is, I've got to say I'm kind of surprised, but guess what? I am kind of surprised. It's on a roll right now. Ninja, I'm becoming a believer. I didn't say believer, I said believer. All right, it's fine done preheating. This one's almost half done. Ninja certainly won the preheating portion of that test, but let's see the cooking part itself. I gotta flip these and then rotate the basket 180. All right, and there they go. I don't think those are ready to flip yet. I'm gonna go a little bit longer before I flip them. Power air fryer oven has two and a half minutes left. I still haven't flipped them yet. Now let's take a look at the Ninja. Well, beautiful, look at this. Look how nice that looks. Very nice, look at that. I'm very impressed with the Ninja. I'm very impressed. 10 minutes exactly as expected. And in here, power air fryer oven, we're still waiting. I'm still waiting to flip it. I, I think it's no contest. I'm gonna let this get down to the full 10 minutes and try to flip it then. But I'm a little disappointed because my beloved Power Air Fryer and 360, which I've liked for over a year, just got manhandled by the Ninja. What do you guys think? Yes? I think yes. Do you disagree? Then we have different tastes in food because I think it looks great. All right, it has just gone off. Man, it doesn't look like it's ready to be flipped. 
I'll go in there a little bit longer, but man. Come on, power air fryer oven, you're, you're disappointing me here. Let's try it again. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Keep going until it's brown enough to flip. Ugh. I'll be done eating these by the time this is ready. I think that looks pretty good. Now, to those of you who hate when I don't taste things, I will taste it. And for those of you who hate the sound of chewing, I'll mute it out. Best of both worlds, all right? Here we go. Oh, wow. It might be a little crispier than some people like. Some people like kind of soggy French toast. Some people like more crispy. This is crispy. It's been about 15 minutes. Let me pause this. By the way, I'm done eating already. I still got a few left. I mean, I'm just gonna flip these. These are kind of getting there, I guess. All right, I flip these. I'm gonna rotate the basket and see how much longer it's gonna take. Maybe it'll be done in five more minutes. Let's see what we got going. It's been a total of 19 minutes. 10 minutes, 19 minutes. Let me put these on a plate and try them out. Even though it took longer, I do think these look pretty good still. So it took almost twice as long, but the results look about the same. But let's try it out. Mm. All right, I'm gonna say the taste-wise, they're exactly the same. So I'm happy about that. The power air fryer oven eventually got it cooked uh, to about the same level as a Ninja, but when you're talking about time, the Ninja just slaughtered it. I have to admit, I mean, I like the power air fryer oven. It's kind of like when you're rooting for your favorite boxer and he gets knocked out. You gotta give the other guy credit. The Ninja just won round two. Let's see what's up for round three. All right, so far the Ninja's been very impressive, but let's try an old standby, some frozen pizza, and see if the power air fryer oven can hang, can redeem itself, or even be better. Let's check it out. Now the power air fryer oven has a pizza setting, but this pizza says 400, so I'll move it to 400, and it says 20 to 23 minutes, I'll leave it on 20 minutes. 400 for 20 minutes. Both are preheating. Now in this case, no need to flip, no need to rotate, just stick it in there and see when it's done. I'm also putting these directly on the rack like you would do in a normal oven. Once again, the Ninja is done faster. I'm going directly on the rack. Boom. This one's still preheating. Okay, now this one's done preheating. It fits, oh yeah, it fits. Sweet. And we're off. This one's got a little bit of a head start because it preheated faster, but we'll see what happens in 20 minutes. While these are cooking, you guys know I love my laser thermometer. Let's see how hot the outside of the unit is while it's cooking. Oh, 86, that's bearable. How about the, oh, that's a little bit, that's, that's still not unbearable. Well, it's starting to get there. How about this one? handle here is 83 the door itself well, that's getting it's pretty warm it really varies about what part of the oven you're looking at it's been about 12 minutes and let's see that's that's getting brown this one's been 11 minutes I'd say it's getting kind of brown all right and the ninja is ready it might be done the cheese is melted in the center it looks thoroughly cooked I'm gonna say that it's done in 10 in 20 minutes also, I like about the Ninja is the light comes on when there's 30 seconds left to cook. That's kind of a nice feature. Look at all that grease. Oh, the grease. All right, and after 20 minutes, let's see what we got. Oh, definitely not as brown. Look at this one compared. All right, look at the two of them after 20 minutes. Clearly more cooked on the Ninja. This one, look at the, the crust is still kind of light. Over here, it's nicely toasted. I think this needs to go a few more minutes as opposed to the Ninja, which is done in 20. I think the Ninja's winning. All right, I'm gonna go about five more minutes and see what that looks like. Good luck, power air fryer oven, because you just got beat again. All right, five more minutes have passed. Here we go. Well, I was definitely gonna say it's cooked. They both did a good job. Just one's a little bit quicker than the other. And here we go, both cooked. Ninja, faster than the power air fryer oven, but they both came out pretty good. Do I really want some pizza after that French toast? Yes, I do. Let's try it out. Ninja first. Power air fryer oven next. No significant difference in the taste of it, so really it comes down to the cook time and the Ninja wins once again. The Ninja is 3-0 and and it's an impressive start, but we have more things to check out. I'm gonna try this sheet pan meal here. They say to pick a protein and I'm, they're all uncooked. Uncooked chicken breasts. Pick a vegetable, which I've got some broccoli here. 
marinade. I've got some, some basic olive oil. Now, I wouldn't normally put raw chicken and vegetables together, but it says to do it. So uh, I'm going to do it with a little bit of uh, trepidation, but I'm going to do it. And then this is 400 degrees for 20 to 30 minutes. You guys tell me if this is something you would normally do. I wouldn't normally do that. All right, now we just put it in a single layer on each pan. We'll try 20 to start off. Roast, 400 degrees, 20 minutes. And we're off. And we're still waiting. Here we go. Once again, the Ninja is over two minutes ahead of the power air fryer oven because it preheats faster. Come back in a little bit and see how they're doing. I do like how the light comes on when there's 30 seconds left. That's actually a pretty cool feature. Chicken's done. The broccoli's done. This is done. And here we go. But look though, it's not as it's not as brown. It might have cooked both. Look, the broccoli's not even that crispy either. I'm gonna put it in there longer. This broccoli's nice and crispy, like you want roasted vegetables to be. This just I don't I don't know, man. Not as impressed. Ninja's just killing it. It's a runaway. I'll put this in a little bit longer to fin finish it up, but Ninja wins. All right, while the power air fryer oven's finishing up, how does this look? I think it came out pretty nice. Try a piece of broccoli. Mmm, crispy chicken. Perfect. You know, I had a lot more tests to try out, but I'm not even sure I need to. How many rounds does the Ninja have to win before I declare it the winner? Maybe this is it. I mean, it's weird because the power air fryer oven was always one of my favorites. I've used it for a long time. Power air fryer oven's now about done with the chicken and broccoli. Let's see how it turned out. Broccoli's still kind of flimsy. It's been 25 minutes. I'm gonna go another five. I'm gonna go another five. Done in 20 minutes, look at this. Done, 20 minutes. Not done, 25 minutes. After 30 minutes, I've just taken it out. 30 minutes. It does seem done though. I mean, the Ninja still looks better. I've been eating on it, that's why it's not as much there now. I'll eat this, but I'll eat this first. Ninja, power air fryer oven. I don't know if the power air fryer can really beat the Ninja at anything except for rotisserie, which you can't do. In any event, this test is done and the Ninja wins once again. All right, I wasn't gonna do any more tests, but I'll do one more because this is the most popular thing I think probably used for air fryers, which is French fries. I'm gonna use some frozen fries. Really, I just wanna see how well it does them and how well they compare, although I have a feeling that this one's gonna do better, but you never know. Let's try it out now. I decided I'm gonna go 400 degrees for 25 minutes on both of them. 400 for 25 minutes. I'll check them throughout, but that's where I'm starting at. And we're off with the Ninja. I'll check that about uh, 10 minutes in and see how it's looking. And we're off. All right, it's the 10 minute mark. Whoa. All right, after 10 minutes, that's how it looks. 10 minute mark. I'd say it looks about the same. All right, 20 minute mark, let's see. Oh, uh, these feel done. I would say that, I mean, some people might like them cri more crispy than that, but to me, that's, that's pretty good. We've got some, some of the smaller ones are kind of brown, but most of them are nice and crisp. 20 minutes, and I would say that's about, about right. We'll check this one at 20 minutes and see how they compare. All right, we're stopping it at the exact 20 minute mark. Let's see. All right, just to compare the two of these, you, as you can see, some of the smaller pieces on the Ninja are brown. I don't see any of them brown on this one. None. I'm gonna let it go the final five minutes. And as expected, I think the Ninja did a little better. Five more minutes. Here we go. It still doesn't look as brown after 25 minutes as the Ninja did after 20 minutes. I, th I think it's done, it's just not as brown. They feel, they feel crispy, they feel done. I think I've got enough information to wrap this thing up. Power air fryer oven, Ninja, thin's a little bit browner. Let me try it out. 
power air fryer oven, certainly acceptable. Now for the Ninja. Hmm. As expected, the Ninja is a little crispier. Let's wrap this up, shall we? So in the end, the Ninja was clearly the better of the two devices. Although I will say the Power Air Fryer Oven is still a good product and it's good for larger items, but anything that can fit in the Ninja is probably gonna do better in that one as opposed to the Power Air Fryer Oven. I reluctantly say that the one I liked before had just gotten knocked down a notch. There's a lot of other tests I could do, but I think after the number of tests that I did run where the Ninja outperformed each time, it's kind of no point in continuing on because the Ninja is clearly the more efficient of the two ovens. But have you tried the Ninja oven or something like it? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Check out my social profiles for progress pictures videos as I go. Please subscribe for more product reviews and me, James White with Freakin' Reviews. Mm -hmm.